And yes, we are going to talk about static patching again. Yes, uh, it's possibly one of the most uh, commonly uh, spoken about topics when it comes to performance optimization. Just use static patching and forget about the rest. Bullshit. So, static patching, uh, I assume that you know already a bit about that, right? I mean, it's everywhere. It's in the news. It's in the newspapers. It's everywhere, static patching. What it does, basically, is to combine the objects so that you make your life easier, right? And actually, not so much your life. It's going to be mostly about the life of your CPU and GPU. So have a look at this scene, right? You see this bucket, right? If I press Control D so many times, what do you see here? I mean, possibly not in the same view because it's uh, you know not 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 applying any offset. But here on the hierarchy, you see a huge list of objects, right? And do you think your CPU and GPU is going to be happy about having so many objects? The answer is obviously not. So instead of saying something like, okay, we have here a thousand objects, we're just going to simplify our life, right? We're just gonna say, you know, instead of having thousand objects, we have five. So one example that I usually give my students is, you know, you have, um, just imagine you're at home and you have uh, some sort of bookshelf, right? You have like maybe 40 books, right? If you were to give all these books individually to the GPU to render, that will be very expensive, right? Both for the CPU and the GPU. So what we are going to say is, you know, instead of thinking about each book individually, we're just gonna say, here's a stack of books. That's it. And then the CPU and GPU, uh, you know, they can use their energy and other things, right? Rather than to think of individual objects, right? So this is static patching in a nutshell, okay? Basically what we do, combining objects and we do this without too much effort from your science because unity is going to be able to help you quite a lot here now possibly you already knew about this static patching is super commonly talked about right we see this in the documentation we see this in youtube videos you see this in the newspapers in magazines on the streets in ads wherever static patching what else do we need to talk about not much right wrong otherwise i wouldn't be producing this video right so static patching the, the first thing you need to know about it is obviously how to use it and the very basic definition of how to use static patching or steps is just take your buckets take your geometry and go to the static uh, flags and just click on batching static that's it right that's going to activate static patching and obviously make sure that you have static patching enabled in the player settings right just use the search box here and put static and here it is uh, right now it's disabled so i just need to enable this i just need to go to my buildings and body parts and buckets whatever it is and then just mark it as patching static right and obviously it will only batch objects together that have the same material which is one of the limitations that you possibly already know about. Now, let's talk about something else that not so many people know about, which is the fact that static patching may not necessarily reduce the number of draw calls that your game has. Right? So here in the game, you see the number of patches or draw calls, and then, surprise, static patching may not reduce those, even if you have the same material materials which is, sounds weird and eh? um, it is usually uh, happening that it works right that it just reduces uh, the number of patches to a degree but it doesn't have to even if you fulfill all the requirements basically this is happening because of the way that static patching internally works it works with two buffers one buffer for one buffer for vertex uh, attributes, right? Like position, normal, color, UVs, and all of that. And there is also another buffer, which is the index buffer, right? Which is basically the buffer where we say, okay, so in order to draw this object, please use this vertex, this under vertex, and this other vertex, right? And then we form triangles, and basically this is this, the way to draw uh, stuff, right? In modern graphics. Actually, not so modern, just not super old, right? <laughs> that way we just uh, reduce bandwidth usage by just using pointers to vertices, right? Instead of duplicating these vertices. In any case, without going to low level, we have two buffers. If you want to actually learn more about this, just go to my membership, the Performance Task Force. There's a module dedicated fully to static patching where I go very deeply into explaining how that works. 
and how uh, important it is that you actually know the internals okay for this reason and um, okay so we have two buffers and in order for unity to draw stuff on the screen with the static patching unity just goes here and says okay so what do you have on the screen i have this bucket this floor this uh, brush and whatever right we have this so now unity applies first on column so we see you know wh what do we see do we see the rogue just or the assassin behind me who's about to backstab no it's I cannot see that right? it's just behind me so I'm not going to draw that right? and after doing the closing calling and also uh, first on calling both unity says okay so these are the objects that we can see no now here's the key in order for unity to draw this unity has to specify a range or a subset of these buffers to draw right because otherwise well, I mean, we, we cannot do it otherwise. We have a buffer and object one is here, object three is here. If we just want to draw a few objects, we cannot just say draw this buffer because then we would just draw stuff that we don't want. We just need to draw regions of this buffer. So if this bucket happens to be contiguous to this other bucket, then this is just one draw call, okay, in the buffer. But, you know, if I have these buckets at the beginning, and I have this other bucket at the end, and in the middle I have this assassin just about to backstab me, then you know what? I cannot do this in just one draw call. First I have to tell Unity draw this part of the buffer, which contains this first bucket, and then the last part of the buffer, which contains this other bucket. But I cannot say draw everything, because there is something in the way that I don't want to draw, and Unity shouldn't draw that. And that's why we need to split this in several draw calls. Now, how important is for you to understand this and uh, the reason actually it's it's imp it's important okay it's important because otherwise you will be wondering all the time why is your static patching uh, usage is not necessarily reducing drug calls right and you might spend time trying to debug whether you are doing this correctly or not and uh, the answer is maybe it's okay maybe this is the way to go and still even if you have two door calls instead of one maybe it's still quite beneficial because then you just work in the same buffer you don't, don't have to be changing the gpu state and saying hey please use this other buffer where no it's all in the same buffer so pretty easy right just like if you have your wallet right and you have coins and let me use euros because i live in europe i have a coin of five cents another coin of 10 cents another coin of one euro another for two euros right and the, the the effort for me is to take the wallet of my pants and open the coins compartment that's the effort but once it is open i just you know if i need to just take the two euro coin a five cent coin it's super easy right i just need to just introduce two fingers and just look for that and fetch it, right? But the effort, which is binding to this buffer or taking the wallet has already been put, okay? So this is why static patching, even if it's not going to always reduce your draw calls, is going to be extremely beneficial for your performance. Now, obviously, uh, this is not going to work if your geometry is not here on the level, right? Beforehand. So if I just um, design my level procedurally and I put the bucket here and sometimes here, yeah, you're not gonna be able to use static patching as it is. For that, you have other types of API calls in which I go in detail in the Performance Task Force membership. And before you say, oh, you are just promoting your stuff. Yeah, sure, I'm promoting my stuff, but you know what? Just don't watch my video if you don't care about it. And if you hate me, why are you just watching my video? Whatever. In any case, if you want to learn more about that, you know where to go. Uh, my intention with this video is to let you know that sometimes static patching is not going to be just a perfect solution for everybody, right? for procedural levels and all of that. And sometimes it's just going to disappoint you if you just look and stop at the draw call count. Right? But don't forget, there is a level beneath this where static patching may be helping you out. Okay. Hope this is useful. Uh, some more points about this before I leave. Um, don't use static patching for, let's say, uh, a big forest. 
of trees, right? Where all the trees are the same because it's going to, uh, to, to skyrocket your memory usage. You're just copying these trees into the buffers, right? X times, that's expensive. Instead, use something else like GPU instancing where you just say, draw this tree thousand times here, 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 and here. Something like that, right? So, like I said, um, static patching usually is a really good tool, but you need to understand how that works so that you can now be the professional developer who says, no, I'm going to go to this um, checkbox and I'm going to uncheck it. And this is why. Then you explain all of this to your colleagues and they just give you a raise. Right? Or at least that's how it works in my dreams. I mean, not literally my dreams, because I don't have a boss, but uh, maybe when I was a junior, I don't know. Okay, guys, if you have questions about static patching, other than how do I use static patching, because for this you have thousands of pages and newspapers and all of them. If you have any interesting questions about that, just let me know and put something in the comments. All right. I hope that you discovered something new and uh, enjoy your rest of the week weekend i guess for me it's weekend so that's what i'm gonna do right now take care